I just want to testify that Carrie Rambo Williams <laughs> is really a corker. Day three of picking across America. I'm still in Utah with my mom in front of my house with Don. We with are heading makeup. with makeup. <laughs> <laughs> we're heading up to Ogden today, Don's old stopping grounds, and we're gonna try to find some good deals and stuff that we can flip online. Hopefully have a good time too. We are at the Savers in Ogden. Here is an interesting toy. This is Ninja, the video game guide, $6.99. For some reason, I got the vibe that that just wasn't worth anything, so I didn't even look it up. Sometimes I don't bother. It just seemed like it was something that was probably overproduced or not that great. This is interesting. This is a Captain Phasma figure at $4.99. You might think this is worth money, and it's not worth nothing, but it's worth about that, five, six dollars plus shipping, so I had to pass. These 12 inch action figures, you're gonna see them a lot at thrift stores, garage sales. They're Titan heroes, a lot of Marvel and DC characters, not worth much. I'd pass in most cases. This is a Star Wars puzzle. It looked like a modern one, so it probably, in my opinion, wasn't gonna be worth much, especially at that price, so we decided to pass. This savers overall was really good today. This large random doll and large toy section was not great, but the bagged toy section was awesome today. There was interesting stuff here like this Batmobile and also a brawling buddy, a Ray Mysterio brawling buddy. These are electronic, you have to test them. I pick them up for like a dollar or two, but at the price they were asking, I decided to pass. There's also like vintage Hasbro ones that aren't electronic from the 80s. I forgot what they're called exactly. Uh, they could be worth some good, good money. This is probably the fakest Grogu Yoda I've ever seen. Probably somebody made it. Not worth anything. Still kind of cute though. How on earth could we pass up a Wally plush? It was like $3, which is a great deal. We're gonna get 10 or 15. I didn't even have to look this up. We could put it on Instagram and we should easily be able to get that. Also, we can put it on eBay, I'm sure, and get that as well. Don't sleep on these mini gumball football helmets. I wouldn't buy them if there was just one or two, but at $3.99 for like 15 or 20, I can get probably three to five on most of those plus shipping. There might be some worth a little more than that in the bag as well. This looked a little bit enticing. There's a vintage like 90s Punisher, but that was really the only thing good in that bag. And it was a little beat up, not super valuable either. If it was filled with that kind of stuff, I would have got it. This is like a Pokemon guy. I forgot his name. Once again, just not enough meat on the bone. If there's like three or four of those figures in there, um, I would definitely have bought it, but that I had to pass on. If you ever see somebody in a thrift store, garage sale or something recording like this, they're probably doing an Instagram story or a TikTok like Don is doing right here. That's some inside baseball. <laughs> Do you all have this happen at your thrift store a lot? This is a bag that probably had a bunch of mini helmets in it at one time, $3.99, but somebody took them all. So unfortunately it wasn't worth it. I thought about going and asking if I could have those two added to my other bag, but I chickened out. Did you know they're remaking micro machines? These are from 2020. Hasbro and Jazzware are making micro machines. $6.99 for this bag. No way I'm going to pass this up. I'm going to sell some individually and some in lots, and I should do well on them. See what I got? I got good stuff here. <laughs> you did get good stuff. Yes. Did you have a good time? I had a great time with my wonderful, handsome son, Terry. <laughs> yes. You're that just was. telling me how we started doing this. When did we start doing this? Mom, like 2011? Probably you had an old computer thing that you wanted to sell and we put it online. Pokemon video game, yeah. Yeah, that Pokemon <laughs> video game. I started it at a buck. Two little... <laughs> it went for 70 bucks. You know how much that's probably worth now, that sealed game? Gosh, it's, it, there was a time where it might have been like over a thousand, I think, but it's definitely hundreds of dollars. Oh my gosh. So we should have just held out. We should have held out. We should have yeah. held out. We're here to pick up a hot chocolate for my mom. We're taking yeah. two cars. Right. Um, Don's driving one and then we're getting this one. Thank you, sweetie. There you go, mom. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, we'll see you at the DI, Don. Okay. Now we're on to the Harrisville Deseret Industry, which is basically North Ogden. This is kind of a rite of passage for anybody who goes to the Deseret Industry, whether it's Utah, Idaho, Las Vegas, or whatever. They bring out a lot of carts throughout the day and then people just swarm it. Sometimes you can find great stuff because it's fresh, fresh merchandise. Um, I found some awesome stuff in fresh carts. I thought that might be good. Twilight stuff was kind of hot a little while back, but that ended up not being worth it. They also have what all us DIers call electronic carts. They separate the electronics, the stuff that goes in the electronic section, on different carts. So this can oftentimes be video games, you know, PlayStations, all sorts of good stuff. He's um, taking his time to actually stop it so we can look at it. There ended up not being much of anything on this one, but I found so many good things 
over the years. One time when I first started, I found a brand new Game & Watch from like 1982, the handheld game before Nintendo made the systems. I got it for a buck, $1, sold it for well over 100. I'm sure it would be worth substantially more now. Much more than this random steamer I picked up. It wasn't worth it, so I put it back. You're gonna hear me say a lot that I stay away from fitted hats and stick to snapbacks, but this is a Jumpman Jordan brand hat right here, Michigan Wolverines, three bucks. That's awesome. I think I can get like 10 to 20 plus shipping on it. We also found a bunch of these retro 1970, I think they're Dakin um, plushes. That's a, what is that, an eagle? And also a couple little uh, squirrels, right? Chipmunks, squirrels. Uh, opossums, flying squirrels. I don't know. They're cute. I think they're squirrels. But uh, yeah, that stuff's awesome. I mean, I imagine that pair can go for like 15 or 20. We're gonna go check out this Salvation Army and see okay. if we can find some stuff. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Found you. Oh, look, his nose is tore off. Dang it. Oh, dang it. So this is our favorite plush spot in all of Utah. Really, anywhere we go, this Salvation Army is only a quarter per plush. She throws everything out there on the floor, digs and digs and digs, and she finds a ton of great stuff. She has a really good eye for this. Do any of you guys have a toxic thrift store or garage sale item that you know is not gonna be worth money and not gonna be worth the time, but you always look trying to find a way that you can possibly buy it and flip it for a profit? I love these little statues, especially of historical places, but they always are broken in certain spots and typically very rarely worth the hassle to prepare and ship. What's your toxic thrift store garage sale item? Let me know down below. The superpower of this thrift store is that it's cheap. It's inexpensive all the way around. These hats are like a dollar or two. A lot of them, I believe, are a dollar. I ended up picking up that Neff one that I just put down. It was, I believe, a dollar. It was polyester. It was a snapback. I just couldn't pass it up. But unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention. There's a big old stain on this. I noticed like three minutes later, so I had to put it back. Go figure. We left Las Vegas, and we find the Circus Circus vintage fire snapback. Just look at all. They have the circus tent. They have the emblem on top. This is awesome. There's a few marks on this one, but I don't care. I might wear this one. It might be a little too much for me, but it's probably definitely worth money. So here's a little inside baseball. I did an Instagram story um, picking up that circus circus hat, which is classic. And there was a $45 hat that I totally missed that we both missed sitting next to it. It was like a Dragon Quest slime hat. Go back and look, rewind it. It was like a little dewdrop style hat that was right by the circus circus thing. Go look at it. That's like a $40 to $45 hat that we totally, totally missed. And that happens. We can't, we don't know everything. So every now and then, here's Dawn. I'm trying to convince her to try this hat on. Looking like Blossom. Give me a look. There we go. I forgot to film in the latent DI, but we went back and I found a couple of these mini bats. These are Salt Lake Bees, which is the, I think the Los Angeles Angels AAA affiliate here in Salt Lake City. I love these little mini bats. They don't weigh that much. Uh, you know, they don't cost extra by the length, even though they are kind of a little bit awkward. I should get, I didn't look them up, but I should get like 10 to $15 a piece, maybe 20 for the pair plus shipping. So it's not that bad at all. It wasn't really that much. Uh, they didn't bring many new things, or if they did, we missed them because we went to other DIs earlier today. I see. Did you have a good time thrifting, Mom? Oh, I had a great time. Me we too. We were planning on doing that anyway. Weren't oh yeah, we were gonna do it no matter what. I'm glad you, you found a few things to sell. Yeah. You're still selling on Amazon a little bit, right? Uh, well, I'm trying to get my books all, all uh, I'm not selling anything on Amazon because I only have about 15 books posted out of Are you doing Mercari and stuff as well? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So she's still selling. My mom's only, what is it, 29? What? You're only 29, correct? I'm 28. 28. Uh-huh. 28, folks. Oh, I didn't know you were. I'm a, <laughs> an anomaly. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it was right. good hanging out with you, Mom. I love you. Okay. Uh, okay. I just want to testify that Carrie Rambo Williams is really a corker. He's a good son. He's smart. He's uh, my son. He's handsome. He's my son. He's a good guy and he's my son. So be sure to follow him on anything he ever does. And I'm to see if they'll follow me on Pinterest, Mom. And, and on Pinterest, please. And I love you all. This is his mom. I, I thought I ought to mention that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
Please listen to my mom, like and subscribe day four. Yeah, this is day three, day four will be tomorrow. We're calling it a day with picking and everything. We're gonna go visit the kids and the grandbabies. So it's gonna be a lot of fun for the rest of the day. And then we're heading out tomorrow uh, on our way to Crossville for the 127 sale. We're meeting up with Kevin and Dave. We're gonna be filming the trash to cash, barbecue, all that stuff. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So stay tuned tomorrow or the next video you see, I should be going through Wyoming. We might make it into Nebraska. Uh, we'll officially be out of our, our comfort zone and into the adventure zone. So we'll see you guys, bye.